Word. So in Word, um, what you might have is especially students with dyslexia, visual impairments, or reading disabilities. Um, you want to change the view so that way it's easier for them to read the words. What you can do is you can go up to View and click on Immersive Reader. Immersive Reader has a lot of different components, so I'm going to go through them briefly. The first thing you're going to notice is it clears out all other just possibly distracting um, things around it. This is really good for students with visual impairments or students who really need to be able to focus on the words themselves. The very first thing you can do is change things with the font, so you can make it where your text slide is bigger, text size is bit bigger. You could also do, and I'm just going to scroll down a little bit, so this might still seem like way too many words as for a student that has a reading disability. If I go increase spacing, you're going to notice that it makes it where it's not as many words per line, and that can be very valuable to those students. Calibri is actually desi designed as the most readable font for digital. So while there's the Sitka, which is supposed to be a really good for when it's printed, it doesn't look as e as um, as easy to read uh, on the computer screen as a sans serif like Calibri. You can also, some of our dyslexics prefer color overlays such as a yellow, a blue, or a green. Find, some find no difference. Others, this might be too bright. And so this one right over here makes it just slightly um, less bright. It's kind of almost a, you, you might not be able to tell in the recording, but it's just almost like a little tiny tinge uh, grayish purple. You can also do where it has a black background and white text if that's something that helps that student. So in addition to these uh, is the magic grammar options. So the grammar options, I love this particularly for dyslexics. So what happens a lot with uh, dyslexics is they see a word like this and they have a hard time breaking this apart in order to pronounce it properly. They, they're they're, they start pronouncing ast ray or something like that. And what it is is they're putting the syllable in the wrong place. If you click on syllables to on, what you're going to notice is the syllable as a dot appears where the students should break up the words. So, a stray. And it helps them see that a uh, is by itself or a is by itself or meeting. Um, and it makes it a little bit easier for them to read these words that might not seem too complex to those of us without learning disabilities, but to dyslexic can actually be kind of almost, almost a jumble of letters for them. There's also this parts of speech. I'm not sure where I would use this necessarily, other than I think that the verbs are very nice because it can indicate the start of the predicate. So wolf, meeting with a lamb astray from the fold, resolve not to lay violent hands on him. So that can kind of help with that. You can also do adjectives and nouns. You can even change what color they're supposed to be. There's the darker ones versus the lighter ones. And again, that just helps with brightness sake, depending on whether or not you have a dark background or a light background. Um, I'm going to turn these off just because they're kind of a weird thing to me. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the syllables and go over to here to the reading preferences. This lets you focus a line. So as I'm a student and I am reading Aesop's Fables by Aesop, and I can click translated by George Flyer Townsend, and I can go line by line by line. And I can, if in the event that that's like, well, I need two lines or three lines rather, now I can do it where it's chunking the text for me like this. And so that's really valuable. Right now the picture dictionary is on. So I'm going to show you what that means. So a picture dictionary, let's say a, I might be even an ASL student and I don't know what lambs look like. There's a lamb. If I want to hear how to pronounce the word lamb, I can actually click on the word and it will pronounce lamb. it for me. Um, down here... In the voice settings, I can choose my rate of, of reading, and I can make a female or male voice. You probably will not be able to hear this because you are on a, uh, it, I'm recording with my headphones. But what happens, I'm going to go ahead and play it. Let me make it where it's not so big even, so you can really see how it works. Okay, so this is when it's not even lit up. I press play. The lamb is strayed from the fold. And it is a Resolve computer voice, so it's not... You know, it's not perfect. But what's really cool is as a student, 
I could type in the words of my essay and then I could come into this and press play and hear my words be being repeated back to me and I can slow Violent it down on him, and you'll see it also um, marks the lines and marks the specific words that are being um, read aloud. So that right there is a little bit about our uh, immersive reader. It is on the online word. You've got to go to view and you have to go to immersive reader, but it is absolutely fantastic. And you'll see that it helps the students without changing any of the actual formatting of the actual word document. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, if you really want to get this as a uh, tab inside of your desktop word, please submit an application if we can get enough people to to say that we really need this it would be valuable for our students there's a little applic applic not application but a recommendation form and let me know if you're interested in that and i can send that on to you um, i'm going to post a link to the learning tools website where you can find out more information about it and i'll post this one right here and that will also let you see what are the capabilities for the iPad one um, and the Word 2016. I've shown you the Word online and where that shows up. So you're going to be able to kind of get those things and you'll also see where you would be able to press install and if you were not on a school computer you would be able to install this.